Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Living in the Red Dot. This is May from Singapore. Today I have another fragrance review for you from the house of Tom Ford. This is Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. Uh, if this is something you're interested in, please stay tuned. So this is Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. Uh, which was released back in 2015. This is a 50 ml bottle. It's a beautiful bottle, very streamlined, very angular. Um, you know, I expect nothing less from the designer who designs Daniel Craig's James Bond suits in James Bond 007 series movies. So there you go. Let's put that back there. Um, now, this is the very first Tom Ford scent that I fell in love with. I have tried his classics like Velvet Orchid and Black Orchid, and they're very nice, but they're not for me. I found them too loud. Um, this is softer, more gourmandish, gourmandish which I like. Um, the sweetness to it really makes it feel warm and cozy. Again, another um, vibe that um, I like in my perfumes, warm and cozy. Um, the scent, uh, the notes uh, at the bottom, um, the base notes has sandalwood, amber, and vanilla, which go together so well. Um, um, they're just so yummy and delicious and it's like a big hug. Um, the top notes has uh, spices to it like cardamom, saffron, um, which gives it um, an oomph, I think, a big like kind of like wow, but not too much uh, factor. Uh, the middle note has something called kofi in it, which again um, makes the scent interesting for me. Um, this is definitely a nighttime scent. Uh, I can see someone in a suit for sure, um, tailored suit or a nice black gown, very tailored, close to the body, very sleek, um, or some organza around it. Um, it it's it just probably going to look smashing with like high heels, um, red lips, um, tuxedo suit uh, for women. This is definitely, um, this is definitely something to wow. It's a boss scent. Um, you can wear it in the office, but you know, you better have the personality personality of a boss to carry it. Um, yes, it says uh, it's for men, but I actually think it's more unisex leaning towards um, the more feminine side. Uh, but I haven't tried it or my husband hasn't tried it, so I don't know how it is um, for um, the male gender. I don't know how it, how it reacts to the skin. But as for me, this is a love. So if you like this review, um, please press like and subscribe and see you for my next perfume review.